Taurus. Whoa. Happy Taurus season, first of all. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Row. It is for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, and it's Taurus energy. So what this reading does is it uses astrology, tarot, and oracle cards to divine insights into the energy that's of greatest impact to you each week. So subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload the next message. Taurus comes out every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And there's always an extended reading, which I invite you to join me for. You can do that through the Unbound membership as well, which gives you access to all the extended readings and all the perks. Um, I want to jump right in because it's huge. It's huge energy. <laughs> yeah, you can't ignore it. Um, we've had a little bit of break, but we really haven't had this much energy in one place uh, this year, maybe it was in Capricorn. That's true. Pisces, there was a ton of energy when the sun was there, but now the sun has come into Taurus and it's when Uranus and Mercury, and of course the, the, uh, the North node is going to be there for the next year. So it's a, it's a power packed club right now. And boy, is it fantastic. And what it means for you guys is you're at the center of change and you're at a need of change. You're at a crossroads in your life. you you want to be there. You want to be the change that is happening. You want to be the guider of it, the guidance system, the, the leader. There is something about you that is central to change that is happening here and now. And it's, it's, it's garnering great visibility, right? It's, it's everybody's watching and the spotlight is really on you. The one caveat to this, because there's really no downside in terms of you, in terms of how you feel, Oh God, adjectives that I could equate with this energy, confidence, a brilliance, um, um, courage, um, cleverness, um, ingenuity, like all of these things I could like, like revolutionary, all of these, these uh, adjectives are things that I could equate to this energy and how you may feel or really just filled with a great um, sense of self. And so the one thing that could grab at you in an unexpected way is being so self-confident you get cocky or so self-confident you lose sight of competence and, or you lose sight of, um, the practicality that is signature for who you are. Because this is really something, in other words, what might surprise you is how much this is happening to you instead of because of you or um, through you, right? So it's like you're part of these changes too. In fact, you're ground zero for the change. So as much as you may feel empowered and you are, it's going to be easy to be blindsided by the fact that you're part of the shifts too. And in terms of the universe, universality of it all, you don't have any more control than anybody else. But because of Uranus and Mercury there, you really feel like you do. Now, Mercury is a great assistance because what it's doing is it's translating these higher concepts of change and revolution and ingenuity um, of Uranus into the practicality of the 3D world, the real world. It's making things make sense. So that's going to be great for you because all of these shifts in your life will make sense to you and um it'll be easy for you to it'll be it'll, it'll make it easy for you to process and for you to execute you know figure stuff out um and yeah words and cleverness will come really easily to you right now um pluto starts off squaring the sun That'll be done in a couple of days. By the end of this week, that'll be finished. Um, but Saturn is still squaring the nodes, and Saturn will continue to uh, square the nodes for a while. And, uh, I'm sorry, Pluto is squaring the sun. So that is, remember, it's shifting you. It's shaking you. It's challenging your ego. That's how we enter in 
That's how your the sun is has entered into the sign of Taurus. It is it is through a square with Pluto, which means it's almost like if you ever seen that scene from Harry Potter, that waterfall that washes away and he kind of disguises. That's kind of what it is, because Pluto's gonna like wreck anything that isn't sincere. And as we transfer into the, the sun transfers from Aries into Taurus, it's going to rattle and shake anything about you that isn't sincere. And despite your cleverness and ability to adapt, there is that sense of losing sight of your footing, at least for the first few days. So understand that that's going to happen through um, the 25th of April. Um, and Saturn is still squaring that north node and that, that that north node. And what does that mean? It's it's a universal check-in of have you done enough? Have you done the due diligence? Have you done the due diligence of stepping outside of your comfort zone in order to really be good at or come as comfortable as you feel right now that could be the self-deception because remember uranus will stay but mercury is going to move on past its cleverness isn't going to last for that long so it's a little bit deceptive as in um, it's staying power with you. However, you do have it now. So it's definitely yours to use. And I know this seems really cryptic, but we're going to start really general and get more specific. So what does that mean? It means, it means don't out clever yourself. Being grounded and staying grounded, being true to yourself and who you are instead of what you want to project is going to be really, really important right now. Integrity is the name of the game. If you can hold on to that, then you'll do great. Taurus. Taurus. Oh, this is really interesting. We have be loyal to what you love. There's disloyalty here. Somebody betrayed. Somebody's a betrayer. Somebody challenged you, or maybe you feel like a traitor, or it's just a symbol of what you used to love, you don't love anymore. You don't want anymore, you have no respect for anymore, you've lost interest in it, your loyalty has changed. Think kind of Eight of Cups, I'm done with this, I'm over it, I'm not putting any more work into it. Your value systems are effectually what's really changing. So what you're, you valued, what you once valued, you don't value anymore. And that's fine because that's your right. But this being front and center here says there's some sort of treachery or betrayal. And it will come as a surprise to you because it was something that was loyal. So in other words... Your actions, Taurus, could be seen as disloyalty or they could be demonstrated. They could be projected as disloyalty. Um, but here there's a sense of just your loyalties have changed. That's what it is. Um, and life is speeding up really quickly. This is Gemini energy. So this is a sense of there's lots of communication. Um, some sort of communication is coming in that lets you know that loyalties have changed. Either specific person, specific group, could be your work, could be your employment. Loyalties have changed. Um, and it's coming in really quick. Or this is you making the decision to give your notice and communicate really clearly. I'm not working here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm not interested in this anymore. Something to that effect. So in terms of communication, you're really using that mercurial energy of, I'm just going to say it. I'm talking. You're really confident about what you know. I'm just wondering, have you given it the due diligence? So something to be cautious of. Um, disloyalty, also a sense of, yeah, somebody's talking shit. Somebody could seriously be talking shit. 100%. 100%. Words come in, communication comes in, information comes in, you learn, 
about disloyalty. Disloyalty is revealed. Be here now. This is Libra energy. This was something beautiful, something that looked gorgeous, something that gave you a lot of hope, a lot of happiness, something that has to do with beauty. It has to do with aesthetics, has to do with purity of being beautiful. Um, so, like once again, something that you value because this is Venus energy. Open to infinite possibility is here. The star card. So hope, beautifulness, aspirations, being aspirational expecting the best, something that you really desire, something beautiful that you really desire. Think about that. And then we have trust in the magic. This is Aquarius energy too. Just beginning something new, something um, just starting off. Um, it's really interesting energy because why is this be loyal to what you love? This could be that you've just started to see the beauty in something that that ultimately it's like um, you've just gotten attracted to something or you've just spotted something or seen something like, oh, this is what I want. Now I get it. Like that's where the aha comes from, right? The ha aha comes from um, this is the way I want it to be. Um, with Uranus and Taurus, it's an uncomfortable energy. So what you're searching for is that new best thing, that new thing that you can get grounded with or or that, that new place to lay your foundation. It's like you have your home on a trailer, but it's not a mobile home. It's just trying to find where it belongs. And it's like you're looking for that next place you have gone through some upheaval or there has been shifts or changes and now it's like finding a place to plant yourself again this is happiness this is joy this is you've gotten what you've wanted you know it's like the world as you as you wanted to see it seems like it's dawning or it seems like it's beginning this is good okay but what is this be loyal to what you love why is that in reverse We have um, sometimes life stings, wasp energies also coming in reverse. This is defensiveness. So when it's pointed toward me, I know that it's an action that's flinging outward. So in other words, this could be you making a decision to defend something that you really love, defend what you think you, you, what you see is beautiful, the new start that you want, you're willing to fight for it, right? So this is, could be energy that's very pugilistic in nature. I don't think that it would necessarily be physical as much as clearly it's coming through communication, thoughts, ideas, or words. Um, sometimes life stings. Um, this is something that is aimed directly at you or you're aiming it directly at somebody. Always in these energies, you can do vice versa, but it looks like it's being aimed directly at you. Like something something is being made to sting you um, based on your hopes, your dreams, your ideals. And something where you, were, you thought was going to be fresh, you thought it was going to be very beautiful, you thought you were going to have this new chance, this new beginning. Um, but there were words that came in, information that comes in that says, bam, somebody's actually taking a hit at you. Let's, let's get deeper into that. Or you could be defending because you feel like you're on the defensive and you're going to use your words to attack back. What is this? Um, series. So this is abundance. You have the abundance. Um, she doesn't show up for just anybody. Um, this is harvest, reaping a harvest, a harvest. What you have reaped, you will now sow. So you're actually being able to take in anything that you've worked hard for. This is a really joyous time. And then we have Apollo. Um, Apollo is the sun. He is the sun god. He is bringing light, shining, standing out, being the bringer of light, shedding light on something. Um, abundance and harvest. It's almost like you were the forerunner to do this. You brought light in, like you shed light on this possibility, shed light on the potential. You shed light on just how much there is here, how much potential or opportunity there is here. And then there is Cancerian energy, which is something to do with love and motherhood and and parenting 
Um, you're feeling really good right now. I feel like you're spending a lot of time with your family. That there actually may be even your family coming around you, coming together. You wanting to be with your family now more than ever. This could even be a new child coming into it, like reap the harvest, right? Fertility. Um, there could be a new child being born soon or children around you. Um, and Apollo is definitely like the world as you like to see it. Um, it's almost like you feel like the sun itself. There's so much abundance around you. Um, so it's almost like you're taken down. Whoever is trying to get away, away, uh, get away with the world as you want it. This could be quite ruthless energy. It's like, I, this is the way I wanted it. And I don't know if I'm describing you or the person you're dealing with, but it's like, this is the way I want it and nothing's going to get in my way of getting that. That's the energy. So there is a little bit of ruthlessness in here. The scary part is whoever's being this way uh, has the ability to do it. They have, they have all the right attention. They have all the right energy. It's almost like um, the world's in their favor. So there could be a sense of um, that's what's so clear to you right now. That's what you see. You can see the cleverness. You can see the strategy. Um, this is abundance. I don't want to make you think like, like your life is horrible because it's not. This is really beautiful, but it's almost like, you know, they strike at you when you're, when you're up, right? When you, when you become real visible. It's like when your balloon is in the air, that's when they take aim at it. Who is they? I don't know who they is. We got to get further into it. But it's like, um, there's two cards here that are concerning me and I can't ignore them. What is the shadiness? Why sometimes life stings and why be loyal to what you love? What is this? Believe in the impossible is here. But ultimately, it's like somebody's bubble's about to pop. Somebody's bubble is about to pop. It could have to do with a Leo. It could have to do with a leader. It could have to do with somebody who shines. This could have to do with family um, or your fourth house energy. Um, it could have to do with a Gemini. But Aquarius is here. There's so many signs here. I don't want to be science specific. Believe in the impossible. In other words, something that you were extremely confident about. You thought you had it wrapped up. Things could change on a dime. Things could change on a dime. But will they? But will they? Let's see. Taurus, 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 because this seems like really beautiful energy. I want to give you the happiest reading ever, but I can't because there keeps being these twists. Um, suffering in silence is here and then power. So this is um, almost like that anger or defensiveness that builds up when you feel that you don't have a voice, but now you do. That's what it is. With Mercury here, all your thoughts and ideas and all the changes you've wanted to make, now you have a voice. Now you're being seen and you're being listened to and you can feel that power and everything that's pent up is just going to come out. So it's almost like somebody better watch out because you've turned into, you've, I'm sorry, you've turned from the bull to the lion. And this lion is hungry because they've stayed silent for too long. So there is a sense of your gaze is directed directly at somebody or somebody's gaze is directed directly at you. And I feel like you would know. Who is this? Who is this? Who? Can we get a who? Or they better watch out for you. But who is this concerned? Because I know your fo this, the focus is in a specific direction. A Capricorn? Or somebody who was generous of gifts? 
this is Capricornian energy because it reminds me of Santa Claus <laughs> and it's in Capricorn Christmas is in, is in Capricorn season this is this is the energy of somebody who is very generous but clearly feels betrayed this is the energy of somebody who feels like they bought everything to somebody. They did everything they could. And then they feel like they were smacked in the face by that person. And so ultimately, I don't know if I'm not confirming that this betrayal is real one way or the other, but they feel it. They feel like they put in their all, they were the all, they were generous, they were giving and they were betrayed and they were taken down and they were backstabbed and they just sort of like offered somebody the world and then they're not getting what the expectation back. They feel betrayed and they held this in and they held it back and they didn't talk about it and now they're just sort of on a rage holy shit who the fuck is this taurus ouch is all i got to say who is this deep knowing deep knowing somebody's got a lot of insights that whoever this is, if it's you or them, they've got a lot of insights. They they know or understand. It's almost like they bam, they've been clued in, or they figured something out, or they think they figured something out based on I think this suffering, based on this sadness, based on suffering and feeling betrayed. They feel like they understand something completely, and the deep knowing suggests that they kind of do. They kind of know what has been sort of repressed or suppressed. They, they have insight into it or they, they this is gaining wisdom and understanding. It's like maybe this is also a sense of you never knew. If this isn't you, you never knew this person felt this way and all of a sudden it's coming out. Or they never knew you felt this way and all of a sudden it's coming out. It's like this deep understanding or this deep knowing. It's also a sense of this deep knowing of your courage and that primal force within you because remember the sun enters a, a sign and it's got so much strength and so much power in those first couple of degrees being squared by pluto really makes it primal the primal sense of self the primal sense of that lion that feeling of power that feeling of my struggle has really empowered me to be fierce and just go after it so this could just be knowing yourself so well you're diving right in with with like reckless abandon something that you normally wouldn't do we're continuing this conversation because i feel like it's just started um please click the links below and i'll see you guys in tarot.